Shalom, Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the water, the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days which the world cannot receive. And as always, double honors to my apostles, the head elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. In dual world, Brakatham, peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwanium, while Achim, the elders, the elders and the brothers standing stiffly. For the names of Yahweh, while Yahweh shine truth and in sincerity. My name is Kwan from Jim S. Tempe the camp out here in Tampa, Florida, in the heart of Babylon and Belly of the Beast. And I'm going to get right back to it. Uh, this is um, an article I have uh, from Zero Hedge that was uploaded today. All right, Thursday, October 28, 2021, the year facing the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, just going through the news and wanting to, uh, you know, feed the flock of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with the updated current events. And tie back to biblical prophecies. Okay, and as you can see, all right, in the times that we're living in, okay, you have um, you have uh, mandates, okay, that's going uh, across the uh, country, okay, chiefly here in Babylon, the Great, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, known to today as America, and these restrictions, okay, and these mandates that's uh, taking place is because. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, okay, are, are waking up to who you are, man. That we are the Hebrew Israelites, all right? We're fit, we fit the curses, we fit the blessings. And that this man time of rulership is going down. This man time of rulership, okay, is, is, is at an end, man. Okay, so now he has to come down with great wrath. He's, he's making it hard for you people to uh, do the things that you, that you used to want to do, a so-called quote normal life the new well the new norm is you uh being under restrictions man the new norm is tapping into uh uh uh, uh you, you people need to wake up tapping into reality man that you you don't have a, a so-called free will man okay there's a high level uh uh, uh left hand energy wickedness that's taking place okay and your how about me out is using the prophets who's not going to be out there on the corner too long to bring out this information to, so that you Jays can rake up. The scriptures say, arise and shine. I'm sorry, uh, arise, for this is not your rest. Okay? But see, our people want to stay asleep and stay in that slumber state of, of, uh, of mind. And you're going to get caught out here lacking, man. All right? Okay, so I want to play these uh, few clips I have lined up. And then I have this article, a few precepts. And then, hey, Lord's will edifying to the elect. Because this, you know, the times that we're living in, this is beautiful, man. This is everything that we pray for, everything that we uh watch, watching for. This is everything that we call upon the name of Yahweh Bashmi Al-Sha to bring with great haste for. Okay? And this is beautiful, man, because the only way for us to get into the kingdom of rest, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashmi al all right, the kingdom of immortality, okay? All right, to enter into our kingship, okay? All right, which is rightfully given unto us by our, our, our birth, our nationality. Uh, uh, who we are as a people, the sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, princes of the power. Guess what? We have to go through this uh, this uh, great hell that's getting ready to take place on the planet Earth, man, for you people. All right? Beginning of the pandemic, Shelby Bay has been eager to lend a hand. The Cochrane, Alberta nurse works with the Red Cross and has... Yeah, no job, no job. Some health workers quit. Okay, you're going to see a lot more rebellion, a lot more quitting over the C-19 uh, 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 mandating, man. Okay. All right. Been deployed all over Canada. She's now working at a COVID testing center close to home. If me being at the testing center can relieve one less overtime call, then, you know, then that's a win. Bay is one of 13 Red Cross healthcare workers on active duty in Alberta. Outside resources coming in to help, just as some workers within the province are choosing to resign. On October 31st, all Alberta Health Services employees will be required to have two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. People like, well, I thought the first one uh, will, will work. Why, why do I need a second dose, a third dose, fourth dose, man? And then this article is out now that even uh, uh, um, when you when you are juiced up, you know, you maxed out. Guess what? You still you still can uh, uh, catch this uh, this uh, thing, man. So it's all bullshit, man. You see, and we've been telling you people uh, uh, never trust our enemy. We've been telling you people he's he's coming up a way, coming up with a way to undermine that he's pretty much trying to keep you under that enchantment, keep you in that deep sleep that you jakes are uh, caught up in, man. You see, not knowing which way to turn. 
all right? Not having the right guidance of Yahweh Bashim Yashai through the spirit, you see? But being caught up in the bread and circuses, man, okay? Caught up in the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes rather than being uh, 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 abiding, all right, in the, uh, uh, the will of Yahweh Bashim Yashai according to the prophecies, man. Okay, watching. So you're going to get caught out there, man. And not everyone is willing to comply. AHS says that out of more than 108,000 workers, 92% have now submitted proof of vaccination. But there are 1,200 employees seeking an exemption to the vaccine mandate, either for medical or religious reasons. 61 workers have resigned because of the policy, including 31 clinical staff. We stand by the policy and it will be fully implemented. This vaccine requirement is essential to ensure the safety of our people, the patients, and vulnerable Albertans. Last yeah, they all down with the beast, man. They all down with the system. They all down with the order. They all down with the, uh, the plan. All right? Okay? And see, this is why this man going to come down with great wrath, because majority of our people are waking up. So this man is, is, is uh, 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 he has to face the, the, the fact that majority of the people which the prophecy says in the book of Job that the hand of the wicked, which that word there is uh, for labor, shall come up against him. Man. And this is what was taking place. Matter of fact, let me bring that scripture in right now. You know. Um, this is uh, Job. Job 20 and verse 22. All right, it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. That word straits going into hardship, di uh, difficulties, man. Okay, upon slot every hand, upon slot every hand of the wicked shall come upon him, right? Okay, so he shall be in trouble on every side in every way, man. Terror shall make him afraid, and it shall bring him to his feet. In, uh, feet to, in the book of uh, Job, the 18th chapter. All right, so this is that word. All right, what does it says? Laborer suffer a wretched one. Laborer, workmen, see? All right? The work, the workmen, man. And majority of, that's the majority of our people. You so-called Negroes, Latinx, if you make Indians, you work your way up through the chains to be uh, supervisors. Okay, you're, you're, you know, you in uh, management positions. All right? Okay, and, and guess what? It's going to come a time where you're going to get frustrated. You already got to wear a mask everywhere, even in your, your, your meetings. Gonna get to a point where it's gonna get real personal, man. Cause they're gonna be after your children. And they're already after your children. They've been after the children, man. But see, a lot of our people are gonna fold. And there's gonna be a great uprising, a great rebellion. And this is all prophecy. All right. So it says um, in this article here skipflation, shrinkflation, and the rising rebellion of workers and consumers. See? All right. It says while corporate America is focusing on preserving its, pre its precious uh, profits, its customers and workforce are rebelling. By walking away, yeah, man. So this is what's going to cause what? Okay, Esau Edom to uh, uh, usher in his his blessing. If you ain't down with his deception, then guess what? He's going to whoop out that blessing, man. Pull out that sword. If you ain't that, and that's just what the the, the your, uh, all the way down to your local, you know, um, officers do, man. When you're not complying, what they do? They quit to grab that uh, belt. Grab the right side of that belt, man. Grab that sword, the modern day sword, the, the gun. If you ain't complying, sir, put your hand, sir. And then what? Next thing you know, it's that, that sword. Okay? And you Jake's back in the heavens, man. Okay? So, at the end of the day, bro, a lot of people is getting ready to be ups, uh, uh, upset. Okay? And, and and this is all working in the favor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, according to prophecy coming to pass. It says, we all see shrinkflation on a daily, on a daily basis. All right, I'm going to just read the, the, the head titles because, you know, it's, it's pretty much breaking it down. All right. Because I want to play this other clip and bring out a few more precepts. Okay, it says the article mentions the wholesale decline of service uh, that that traces back to the shortage of labor. See, there's a shortage of labor there's a, and there's a shortage of, of demand. There's a shortage of the, uh, uh, supplies. Why? Because they're causing uh, uh, these... Uh, uh, these food shortages, man. They're causing this uh, shrinkflation, man. You see? They're causing uh, uh, this um, hyperinflation. Why? Because 
they're pushing, they're, they're moving towards their agenda to get all you to pretty much bow to the image of all man. All right. To, to, to give over yourself and say that Esau Edom is your God by the way of, uh, 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 allowing him to have full control over your mind, body, and spirit. Okay. By, by, uh, uh allowing him to be, uh, uh, able to issue out this mandate. Okay. Which is going to further lead into the RFID chip. Which is the mark of the beast, and you people are going to give into it, man. Why? Because you're not going to have the food, you're not going to have the resources, you're not going to have the guidance, you're not going to have the mental capability, nor the spirituality, nor the understanding of Yah Bashem Yishai and the scriptures and the times that you're living in to be able to resist. Okay? The next head title says, As I have been saying for some time, labor has been devalued and den denigrated for decades. Okay? Yeah, right here at the top. All right, it says labors. It says labors quit. A rebellion is feeding a self-reinforcing feedback loops of collapse. Corporate America so accustomed to treating its workforce like donkeys, just load on more work. Yeah, because the majority of these jobs, like I work here at the battery plant, right? This battery uh, fa uh, uh plantation, right? Okay, in the warehouse and what? But majority of of everything in these meetings that they talk about is production. They say safety first, but that's just to fool you, 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 uh, you, you simpletons, man, you peons, man. Okay, it's all about production. It's all about loading on more work. You last, man. You nothing but a number. You're replaced. Okay, all right. That's why they limit how many times you can call out. That's why they uh, uh, put you on a point system. You only got four points to use, and after that, you out of there. You replaceable, man. Cause what? It's about production. You see. But it's getting to the point where people are going to start raising hell out here. It says has responded to labor shortages by uh, increasing the workload of those still on the job, burning out the remaining employees in the process. Right. And the scripture say, what? Well, he shall wear out the saints. OK. Israel is worn out, man. And people are, are tired. People have nothing, nothing to lose. Well, a lot of you people, you're trying to save your life, which is going to cause more uh, wreak more havoc on the planet Earth, man. Because, hey, man, when people have nothing to lose, they lose it, man. All right? So, just want to bring that out. All right? And for time's sake, all right, um, let me just play just the first Vandalist 30 tonight. seconds of this, I believe. All right? Yep, just like the first 30 the seconds pandemic. to a minute because a lot, of your, your, a lot of your benefits is getting ready to be swept from you, man. Once these things start cracking down, man, and see this Maxine update, this juice mandate is just pretty much a prelude of what's getting ready to actually take place man all right of what you can't do and what you cannot do in los angeles tonight imposing strict new mandates requiring proof of full vaccination to go out to eat to go to the movies and other activities and we also took note today of what we heard look he said activities man your activities is getting ready to be taken from your bread and circuses no more going to the bars no more going to the strip clubs, clubs, et cetera, man. No more going out thinking you're going to have a, a good time and be entertained, man. This is time to take life serious. And it always been that way. But see, the Lord hid himself. Now he's manifesting. He's revealing himself by the way of these prophecies starting to crack and strip down on you people, man. Locking locking shit down. Call all y'all by Shimei Al Shai, man. The Lord is locking shit down, man. You know, and this is beautiful because we already locking down in the spirit. Okay. We already tightened up in the spirit, man. So when these things come to pass, we're going to be in a whole different mindset. In a laugh, in a, joy, a joyful spirit, joyful spirit, knowing that the Lord is, is jacking you people up and he's getting ready to redeem his elect, man. From the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, what she said about this year's flu season, what they're most concerned about, and what about the flu shot after you've had the vaccine? Dr. Jaw is standing by to answer questions on that. But first, ABC's Kaylee Hart. You need the flu shot. You need the the the, the booster. You people going to be, man, all that's needed next is just the the the, 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 the knob to turn up the frequencies in, in this thing, man. And it's going to be that movie Kingsman uh, playing uh, in real life. That's why they throwing up all these 5G towers, man. Because you people have the technology already in you. You already, uh, uh, you already been corrupted and slowly poisoned. And you don't even see the effects of these things happening over weekend, weeks and weeks and months and years to where you're going to be already detached from your house, spiritually, 
to your your decision making is going to be based upon carnality, man. And that's when you're going to die, man. You see? Tongue in L.A. Tonight, the city of Los Angeles passing a sweeping new vaccine mandate. Customers will now need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test, not only at bars, clubs, and big events, but also at indoor restaurants, gyms, shopping malls, nail salons, movie theaters, and venues like the Staples Center. Yes, sir. So, nail salon, man, that's it, that's it for you, bro. Jim, that's it for you, bro. You people done, bro. And this is just the beginning, you know? This is just the be beginning, man. Call all y'all about some y'all. Sorry, second, that's just chapter uh, 15, right to the point. Second Ezra 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, right? Death and destruction to you people, man. The scriptures say in Second Ezra 8, many uh misery shall come upon you because you have that dwell upon the world world because you have walked in great pride, man. And your pride is leading you straight to your what? Verse 15. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, right? It's leading you slap to the concentration camps, leading you slap. To the, into the hands of your enemy and leading you slap to your death, your destruction, family and pestilence, and uh, 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 ultimately your nuclear destruction, man. It says, Joth nigh, meaning what? You ain't got to go out to meet the prophecies. Hell no, nah. they knocking at your door. Okay? It says, and one, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, right? Sedition and swords in their hands, right? Modern day sword is what? The, 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 the Draco. You niggas love talking so much and worshiping these goddamn Dracos, man. Well, guess what? It's going to be a time where you're going to be able to use that only clip your broke ass got. And your how boss me out shot is going to put you down. All right. And once you run out of them 30 shots, you threw. OK, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. Going back into that rebellious uh, spirit that your how boss me out shot is putting on all you people, head, top chief men in, in the military. Chief men in the police department, chief men in, in CEO, uh, corporations, companies, all type of, hey man, it's going to get mayors, governors, certain people that ain't with it, it's going to be all the way down, triggering to the, the local bum on the street. Okay, it's all hell is getting ready to break loose and simultaneously all that's the fire that's going to be kindled before Yahweh Shai return and crack that sky and destroy all wickedness, man. By the, by the brightness of his coming. So with that, Lord's will edify to the elect to the next time I say Shalom.